bright duty every student matters now moving on to topic 3 we will look at india again and its structure okay the various features all right so we already know about the longitudes and latitudes but again we will uh, look at them so we know the latitudes of india is 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north and the longitudes are 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east and the area which we did in million square kilometer but here we have put in numbers or many digits so the area covered by uh, india is 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometers okay and we know that equator one of the the central latitude so that passes just few degrees below in the map we saw if this is the equator right so india is right here so it passes india by just few degrees okay the extent or the distance from north to south of india is 3214 km and the distance from east to west okay the total distance from the eastern part of the country to the west that distance is 2933 km now we know that the peninsular part of india is surrounded by arabian sea bay of bengal and indian ocean now now this part okay which comes in contact with the water now this area is called coastline okay this entire stretch of land now this coastline of india is also a long stretch of land okay and the distance from here to here the total distance covered by the coastline is 7500 kilometers okay so you can see it is quite long we also know that tropic of cancer it divides india into two equal parts right it crosses it passes through india and then it divides it into two parts now we know that andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep it also forms or includes india right we cannot exclude andaman and nicobar islands and lakshadweep islands they are also part of india and we know that indira point is the southern most of india not the mainland all right and its uh, neighbors india's neighbors in the south they are sri lanka and maldives all right and its neighbors in the north are pakistan china nepal bhutan bangladesh afghanistan and myanmar they share land boundaries if you remember we did this question a little while ago so these are the neighbors of india which share land boundaries okay we already know that india is the seventh largest country in the world and the largest countries from first to sixth they are russia canada china usa brazil and australia so after australia comes india all right and we already know that india covers a large area okay and the percentage of that area that india covers in the world is 2.42% okay when we were doing uh, longitudes and latitudes if you remember
We know that equator divides the country in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere, right? And the uh, the latitudes that run across the uh, globe, they are called Tropic of Cancer, uh, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, right, etc. Now that is latitudes. If you look at longitude, the central longitude, just like equator, that is called prime meridian. Prime meridian. And just like equator, the prime meridian also divides the earth into two halves. And it divides into eastern hemisphere, uh, western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere. We know that India falls in northern hemisphere and eastern hemisphere, right? So, remember that prime meridian is the central longitude, just like equator is the central latitude and divides the earth into two halves, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. But the prime meridian divides the, uh, the earth into two halves, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere, okay? And India has three major physical regions and they are the Himalayas, the Thar Desert and the Plateaus. Okay. And the Tropic of Cancer is the latitude that runs through the country dividing it into two halves. So it divides into North India and South India. Alright, so these are the main features of India.